Remember previously we talked about how compressors relate to dynamic range. Dynamic range being the quietest up to the loudest part of a recorded sound. Simply put, compression cuts off the tops of the transient peaks or the loudest part of the sound smoothing out the top of the audio. Reducing these peaks reduces the dynamic range. So really a compressor makes sounds quieter but also smoother on top. However, with the reduced dynamic range we can now actually make the sound louder with makeup gain. Now the loudest sound is smoother on top and the quiet sound becomes louder. We've already discussed the importance of threshold ratio, attack and release, but this can't be overemphasized. Remember they are all interactive, one is affecting another. Threshold is where the compression starts to do its job. Ratio is how much of the sound will be compressed once the sound goes above the threshold. One to two, one to four, one to eight are common ratios. 1 to 10 ratio is commonly when compressor is considered a limiter. Attack is how quickly compression begins once the sound hits the threshold. And release is how quickly the compression stops after the sound goes below the threshold. All right, let's compress the kick and the snare drum so we can hear the effects of the compression. We want to grab the Dyna 3 compressor limiter. That's the stock Pro Tools compression. And I'm suggesting that we do a 10 to 1 ratio, which is when an actual limiter ratio starts. But I really want us to hear the effect of the compression uh, in this uh, exercise here. And then you want to look here for gain reduction. Um, again, I'm recommending like a minus 12 to 18 dB gain reduction. So I'm going to play the snare drum. And you'll see visually... I'm actually almost between there. I'm going to pull it down just a little bit more. This, um, that's, that's probably good. Okay, so threshold is always going to change according to different instruments. I'm definitely not saying that you need to do 12 to 18 gain reduction on everything. That would not be the case at all. Um, this is just so we can really hear it. And you probably mostly won't use this high of ratios. Um, but this is going to exaggerate the sound of the compressor so we can get familiar with its sound. So the first one, we want the snare drum to have less attack with a long sustain. So uh, less attack would mean I need to go with faster attack time. And right away you hear the attack of that snare drum is much lesser. It's been reduced. So there's less attack on this snare drum. And the release time is already already pretty fast. I'll go a little faster to see if we hear a difference. Not really. This is already a pretty fairly fast release time compared to something like that. So this is fast, meaning that there's still plenty of ring and there's still, still plenty of snare sound after that. So that is the less attack and with the long sustained snare drum. All right, now we'll do the second setting on the snare drum, uh, which is to have more attack with still a long sustain. So I want the sustain of the drum uh, still uh, to be long. So I'll leave this, rele leave this release time, but I want to introduce more attack into the snare drum. So I'm going to start backing off the attack time to let some of the transient come through on the snare drum. Just take a listen. So there's more attack compared to There's a lot of smack on the top of that. It's still ringing out. Okay, on my third setting here, um, what we want is uh, more attack. So I've already got this attack time back some, but I want to uh, have less sustain. So I want to hear less of the ringing, less of the snares. So let's give this a, give this a little spin here. Basically, I'm going to slow my release time down. So I hear less of in between each hit. Oh.
So now I'm just getting the transient from the attack time. And I'm getting a lot less of the ring, a lot less of the snares after that. Milliseconds really make a difference in these settings. Okay, so now uh, we're going to do the fourth setting, which is less attack and less sustain. So my sustain uh, on the drums is already uh, slow, so I shouldn't have much to worry about there. But I'm going to want now to go with a faster attack time to reduce the transient. Let's see what happens here. There you go, less attack, less sustain. So just by moving these attack and release times, listen to the variance. Wow, talk about shaping a sound. Now I want to do the exact same thing to the kick drum. And remember, this exercise, we're using kick snare because you can really hear the compression working. But this is what it does to all sounds, bass guitars, electric guitars, acoustic guitars, vocals. This is what's happening when compression, uh, when you put compression on your tracks. So here's the kick drum. Um, the first thing we want to do, uh, again, um, up that ratio to 10 to 1. And... Um, We'll go for, again, reduction. It's pretty good. 12 to 18 reduction. Uh, the first setting we just wanted to go with was less attack, um, which means when I say less attack or less transient, is I want to um, go with faster attacks. You, know, you can already hear that attack going away. Now, if I want to hear more of the ringing of the kick drum, I'm going to go with a faster release. And that's kind of the setting, less attack or less transient with a longer sustain. And now the other setting is to go with more attack. So I can go until I hear, it, hear that transient get a little... There we go, it's getting kind of that transient sneaking through there. And then I want less sustain uh, afterwards, so I'm going to go with a slower release. Ooh, hear that kick drum tighten up. And there's a real tight kick sound with uh, no sustain on it. And I can mess with the attack a little bit more. Open it up more or less. There's lots of variations, lots of variations in there. Once again, uh, compressors can shape the sound just, uh, just to a crazy amount when you know what you're doing. So spend time with these and uh, learn the tools. All right. So now you download the kick and snare from the assignment and try your hand at those compression settings.